What is up, everybody? It's your boy, James Eeks, back for episode five of Pro Team Building with Alka. Alka, what's poppin'? What up? All right. And guys, so today we are here. We're going to be playing on Showdown uh, using the team. So this is going to be fun, entertaining. You guys get to watch our battles. But a uh, big purpose of this is we want to kind of find our weaknesses here with the team. You know, we want to slowly improve it. So if you guys did not watch the previous episodes, I do urge you to do so. You can see how we got here. We went over the items. We went over the move sets, the abilities, the EV spreads, all that kind of stuff. And this is what we came up with. But I actually played with the first iteration of the stream on Tuesday, so this Tuesday, and we I kind of made a notepad here of the kind of weaknesses that I was facing, and we're going to kind of make a few edits right now uh, due to that. And so mm -hmm. first, we something that me and Alka were talking about was we wanted to see how much we value assurance versus throat chop. And to be honest, I think uh, I think I like Throat Chop a lot more. One big thing that I kind of underestimated was in ma in matchups when Bisharp is really strong, he wants to Dynamax, and that Max Darkness coming out actually does a lot less off of Assurance or Sucker Punch. So Throat Chop actually gives it a base 130 Max Darkness move, while Sucker Punch would only be 120. And then against certain Pokemon, like maybe a Corviknight, like Iron Head's not going to be good. And then if we're running a different move on set of Throat Chop, such as Assurance or uh, Brick Break or something, or Dig, um, you just don't really have that good option. So I actually did like Throat Chop. And then the other thing we were talking about was Protect on Duraludon. And so since we are running a weakness policy Duraludon, you know, Protect and Dragatail are both moves that don't are not offensive moves. So our only ways of dealing damage are with Flash Cannon and Draco Meteor. And honestly, we have been running into some problems with bulky water types. And so we could run Thunderbolt over Protect. But with how weakest policy works, Protect is really beneficial. So Alka, do you have any immediate ideas you think that could potentially help us with that bulky water matchup? Specifically Milotic, but um, yeah, the bulky waters have been kind of an issue. Yeah, no, the Milotic has been really problematic, as you said. Like the, the special, uh, the hard hitting special life or Milotic with Mud Slap and stuff has been really annoying mm -hmm. in your stream. So uh, I agree, it's a matchup we need to deal with and need to address. So. Um, like, I guess adding an uh, electric move to Duraludon could be a thing we could do, but I think, like like you said, Protect is really valuable mm -hmm. for the weakness policy. So, um, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, I think down the road, I think we sh could definitely look into um, kind of changing up our items. Um, mm -hmm. Just because weakness policy under Duraludon has been cool, and we have been able to proc it pretty often. It's just... Without fake tears on Whimsicott, without a life orb, um, stuff like that. Like, if he doesn't get his weakness policy proc, he kind of just sits there and it doesn't, doesn't do... Hard, yeah. yeah, he's just not really sure, hitting sure. super hard. And Duraludon, like, you know, when we have a bunch of support Pokemon, Whimsicott, purely sport, Hitmontop, yep. and Raichu, like, we really need Very our clear. damage dealers to, like, punch holes. To do damage. Yeah, really fast. And so... I think we will play today with this week's policy, but I think we could look into, you know, maybe changing, uh, I don't know, Duraludon to an Assault Best, so he's just that much better against um, the Trick Room, then maybe looking into a different item on Raichu, maybe like a Safety Goggles, uh, stuff like mm -hmm. that. Because um, yep. I haven't, we haven't running into a lot of Venusaur. It's, I, I, I underestimated how much people would love to just click Sleep Powder and hope for the best. <laughs> Yeah, people know that. <laughs> but yeah, so today, guys, the changes we are going to make is Bisharp was dying really easily, so we actually put the Sash on Bisharp, and then we switched uh, Whimscott to a Babiri Berry. And Sounds good. Yeah, I think we could look into Babiri Berry versus uh, Koba, Koba Berry. Berry. Yes, because yeah. um, lots of max Airstreams running around, all that kind of stuff. And Steel isn't just quite as common, I guess. Uh, as flying moves seem to be right now. So um, yep. I think we should look into Kobe Berry. But guys, those are the changes that we're going to be making today. Gyarados is the mm -hmm. same as you guys saw. Raichu's the same. Uh, Hitmontop, same. Duraludon, the same. But it's just these two items are kind of switched around. And so yep. we are going to be looking into this Milotic matchup. 
Uh, something that we were talking about was maybe adding either Thunderbolt or even Volt Tackle to Raichu. Volt Switch just doesn't pack a big enough punch if Raichu were to be shooting off like a huge Volt Tackle because like Volt Tackle plus max overgrowth from Gyarados might be enough to take out Milotix. We'd have to calc that. But as of now, just Volt Switch into max overgrowth uh, isn't enough to cut it. And I mean, with Raichu being physical, it makes Bisharp that much more appealing to scare off the Intimidates. But um, I put in here Excadrill with Moldbreaker just because maybe that would help us against some of the Rotoms. Um, but we can look into that in the future. That was just a little note here. But Hard Trick Room also still being an issue. Um, Tickle on Whimsicott has been great, but I think Dragon Tail Duraludon plus Taunt Whimsicott is near impossible to get Trick Room up against, as long as you mm -hmm. hit the Dragon Tail. But um, All right. So yeah, that's something we do want to uh, look into. But alrighty, guys, let's hop into some battles. Alrighty, let's find our first victim here. <laughs> So yeah, uh, don't be afraid to speak up and let me know what you want to do. The people yeah, want sure. people want to hear more from your boy Alka. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. So we're against Thunder Raikou 22. He's been around that's a while. Cool. He's been playing since like 2014, 2015. So that's cool. Cool. All right, yeah, guys, we are at about a 16.25 rating. I think we were at. So let me check. 16.35. So yeah, we're we're chilling. We're not insanely high, but. Definitely competitive games we're going to be having. So, yeah. we've got Corviknight. Uh, when I was using Bisharp, dude, on stream, Bisharp was going hard mm -hmm. against Corviknight, like uh, hitting. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Was, just getting gonna, the max yeah. darkness boost into myself. Cool. Unfortunately, he doesn't yeah. have Intimidate, but Bisharp still looks pretty solid. I love just how good Bisharp is against Grimmsnarl because it can't Thunder Wave you, it can't do any of that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, I, I see. Um, yeah, I think, well, yeah, think Bishop is good. I think uh, one hit on top here, to be honest. Yeah, hit on top's uh, great against Excadrill, Tyranitar. Yeah, um, what do you think? Well, whenever I see a Rotom Wash, just because of our answers to water types, like, we definitely need Gyarados. Right. Like, Gyarados may be weak to Rotom Wash, but it's also our best answer with the Life Orb uh, Power Whip. What, what do you think about, like, Bisharp, hit on top, Gyarados, right you? As a lead, you want to hit him on top, Bishop? No, not necessarily as a lead, but just like one okay. of them. Yeah, I do like that. I would probably be because Rush is good against uh, the Grimstar as well. Mm -hmm. I think I'd be down for a Raichu Gyarados with hit him on top, Bisharp in the back. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. While I don't completely expect him to lead um, Rotom, it's just hit him on top being able to switch in for Raichu is always really, really nice. Yeah, this is okay. fine. Yeah, this is not too bad. The fact that um, I think Raichu will take a G-Max Wildfire and then we can just fake out Grim. So we can actually get up a Max Airstream here and kind of force him to Max Airstream as well. Mm -hmm. Which I do yep. like that. So yeah, That's I good. think we could fake out Grim and then... Hmm, which one do you think we should Max Airstream? Probably getting Chip mm -hmm. on Charizard is better. I think, I, think, I think Charizard is better as well. I think you could get the KO with the uh, Ungrim Shroud, but I think just, just do Charizard. Yeah. Okay, so let's hit, let's hit Charizard. Yeah, I f I'm hoping Raichu with the Salt Vest can take a G-Max Wildfire, but I think he's going to go for uh, Airstream. He needs to keep up with us. Oh, yeah, there it is. Easy. Okay, so that's, uh, yeah, very nice. Dang, that did so much Charizard. Let's go. That's damage, wow. And now, we're, and now we're just faster than Charizard, so he is in big trouble. Yep. Okay. So, I just, I'm afraid of the option of him just um, sucker punching Raichu to take it out. Yeah, I think he's a sucker puncher for sure. So, um... but I think we could switch to Bisharp and then try to finish off Charizard. He might just max yeah. guard, but that's fine. That's also okay. Okay. So, I'm going to switch into Bisharp and then I'm going to go for another max airstream. Because he's not going to Thunder Wave. Max guard, okay. that's fine. Reflect. That's not bulky enough to save him. Luckily. Okay. Channel. So now I think we should switch back into Raichu to protect from a Thunder Wave and then finish off Charizard again. Yep, that's good. Okay. And hmm, do you see any... We could go for Max Geyser into Charizard. Get the rain up, you mean? Yeah, and we're already at plus one speed. Yeah, I like that. It 
It'll hit the same against Rotom Wash, but going for Max Overgrowth into that slot is just a little too big of a read. Okay, so he did not go for... Oh, he might foul play us, I guess. Which is going to hurt yeah, pretty bad. I mean, that's... Okay, oh, he crits us. Crit <laughs> Without the crit, that <laughs> definitely <laughs> wouldn't have killed. Bro, I don't so. think that would have killed, bro. Yeah. That's All interesting. Right. So, Rotom Wash is going to be a huge oh, issue now. That's terrible. Wow. that That's pretty insane that he crit oh, us yeah. right there. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, let's. Uh, how, how do we win this game? I think we bring in Rich Harp and then we have him on top as a switch yeah, in. I guess. Yeah, there's the there's the villain we prepared for, but we're gonna lose to. You think we want to break the reflector? Do we just? Yeah, I think we. I mean, we need that reflect off. Pretty, mm -hmm. pretty fast. It's just I feel like he's gonna kill Raichu here, like, cause he. So why, I'm just wondering why. Uh... How did, oh, of course, from the freaking uh, fire. I just, I just didn't know how Bishop took damage, but yeah, it was from the yeah. wildfire. Yeah. Uh, okay. So this is really annoying. Like, Bishop I mean, just dies to the to the hydro pump. Yeah, but I think our best bet is him missing, to be honest. Like, after the crit, I think we have to get pretty lucky. So we'll break those. We'll kill Grimstar. I'll... Okay, he's just faster than us, too. Yeah. So he's a really fast run. So... Oh, yeah. God damn, man. that crib was just horrible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, we'll just dip out of here, but that's fine. I mean, <laughs> yeah. we just that's... we just have to feel like you know how we played, and I think we were playing fine. Yeah, I think we would have like if we, if uh, Garros had survived there, which I think it would have would have the uh, yeah. crit. Yeah, Dynamax. He totally had a good chance there. Yeah, I think we would have been fine, but. Mm -hmm. Shit happens, that's Pokemon. But that's all right. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> so we got a pretty so, interesting uh, rain team here. Another Corbin. Yeah, so I, Bisharp looks really good here, in my opinion. I assume it's going for the, the U-turn self-proc stuff into... Into Ludicolo. Into Ludicolo, maybe. Mm -hmm. It's a U-turn, set, set up the rain, and yeah, be super fast and super strong. Maybe. Yep, that's definitely possible. So we could go with... Um, but Gyarados we, deals with that very well, because... Yep. Like if you just, yeah. So Garros I think we just go Gyarados Whimsicott. The fact that we can tail in and then just kill it before it even gets an attack off. Yeah, yeah. Well, isn't it usually like Scarf Dragapult? Yeah, usually but, I guess. But I mean, Gyarados is gonna live like max overgrowth. Gyarados, plus two. Is, Gyarados is like t takes nothing from it. Yeah. I'm, like I, I've been in this situation before with that game, and cool. Gyarados just destroys it. Okay, so I like oh, Garrow Whim, and then I like Bisharp in the back. It'll help deal with that Dragapult, Iron Head, Clefairy, Sucker Punch. Sure. And then it's immune to Will-O-Wisp from Sableye, too. Right. And so Hitmontop doesn't look great. It doesn't do too much here, though. No. Yeah. Um, I guess, like, I'm fine with a... Just a Duraludon, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, Duraludon resists a lot of the water stab stuff a lot, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dragapult and Ludicolo. So here he goes. Yep. He's gonna try and catch us <laughs> slipping here. But, I mean, pretty safe. This back stash him, uh, Ludicolo and Tailwind. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, I'm. I guess I'm scared of like some Thunderbolt on Dragapult or something. But all right, um, here's Pelipper. Okay. That... Here's Thunder. Here's Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Please low. Oh my. Okay. okay. Luckily, we fine. took fine damage. Uh, oh my god, that like, And now we're good. faster than Dragapult. And Pelipper was yeah. sash, so we can just kill Dragapult. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah. I think we just <sighs> max airstream Dragapult and we Moonblast Pelipper. Uh, yeah, do you think that kills Dragapult? Yeah, it probably does, right? Yeah, like, I guess we could double into Dragapult in case he Dynamaxes. <sighs> that's kind of, yeah, that's actually true. Uh, so what would be the worst thing Pelipper could do? He could set up Tail on himself, but we're already plus could, two. I guess he could, uh,. Yeah, we're only uh, might kill Gyarados yeah. after the uh, boost. It, it might. So I'll just max Airstream, Dragapult, and yeah. Moonblast. Okay, Pelipper. good. Okay. All right, so we are very fast here. He's definitely struggling <laughs> to like fast. keep up with uh, how much damage we're doing. Mm -hmm. So I mean, if Ludicolo comes in here, it's like a free max Airstream into that slot. I think he's going for Dragapult now. So Dragapult has um, Thunder and U-Turn, so he's probably choice. Like, I feel like a max airstream into that is, like, pretty free. I think he's... Yeah, just go for it. And then Corviknight honestly might not I be... I wouldn't able... really... I think Corviknight's Dynamaxing right here. So, 
How can we... No, yeah, what if we just kill Corviknight? He's like the biggest threat. Bisharp can deal with him better. And then he's going to have to lock That's into true. a move right here. That's true. Okay. Do you think we should double into Corviknight with a Moonblast? It's not going to do a lot. Uh, I'm just I'm afraid sure Max kill. Geyser doesn't kill. Like if, if, if he's Dynamax, I don't think you kill. But do you Maybe. think the Moonblast... I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, uh, let's find out, shall we? I don't, I don't think he will make a difference. Oh, he didn't okay. Dynamax. Wow. Okay, so he just died there. Cool. I think he's still going for the Lord Colo play, I guess. Yeah, so he's literally yeah. locked into Thunder here. Okay, that's okay then. And then we have plus two speed win. We kill Dragon Ball uh, for no free. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, Bistar has Sash. So that's two hits into Lord Colo for sure. Yeah. Okay. So he's definitely Dynamaxing Ludi. We'll go for yeah. a Throat Chop for the first attack and then a. Moonblast. Ooh, and we can tickle Sucker Punch, Ludicolo. Oh. I just he's hope he doesn't kill Whimsicott, but I feel like that would just be kind of... That would dumb. be weird. Like, how, how would he... If he does, we get two Throat Chops and a Sucker Punch and a Ludicolo. That, that'll that probably kill. Yep. So, yeah. This is not looking good for our uh, Rain Cheezer boy here. <laughs> That's what you get, man. Alright. There's that. It was probably Scarf Dragapult. Big Throat Chop. Wow, that did a lot. Ooh. That's damage. All right, I don't know why he would ever so max, max guys or whatever. <laughs> I mean, that's it's <laughs> a play. All right, we're just gonna flex on him with the tickle sucker. Punch. No, no, no. In case we play this guy just, again, uh, let's not. Time. Yeah. In case we play this guy again, we just won't reveal it. <laughs> Always gotta play ahead. Yeah, of course. Okay, little that's... little chip there. Oh, he broke our sass. That's annoying. But I mean, we could just sucker punch him. I don't think you can lose from here. Yeah. All right, sucker punch and just flash can. Because if he if he survives sucker punch, he's gonna live on like one HP. So. Mhm. Mm All right, cool. Luckily, uh, our boy Alka was was prepared for the <laughs> U-turn Ludicolo and, and yeah. yeah, I wasn't prepared for the Thunder Dragon though, so that's <laughs> so interesting. Wow, that Max Guard really helped him win this game. I gotta say. Oh yeah! Wow, plays <laughs> <laughs> straight up outplayed us there. All right, so we are one and one, not too bad. And we lost because of a fucking crit. So <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. All right, yeah, I've been seeing a lot of Clefairy and then Rotom Watch and Charizard. So <sighs> yeah, that's a trio, I guess. Dang, he's even got like this little uh, <laughs> this little Hatterene Clefairy mode. <laughs> that's annoying. So, Duraludon looks pretty solid here, because one, it, it'll deal with that rogue Hatterene lead, but mm -hmm. uh, switching in Hitmontop and then taking a move from Exdrill or Conkeldur, like, we get that weakness policy activated pretty fast. Like, yeah. this is one of the teams that looks like they're going to fall into the pitfall of uh, activating us pretty good. Yeah, I think so. So, I think Dura, and, um, hmm. like, I'm, I'm, I don't think it matters that much what we lead next to Dura, to be honest. Yeah. Um, like, what do you think? Uh, initially, I was thinking Raichu just to kind of want to make him force to Dynamax turn one. Uh, right. Just that pressure of fake out really makes them panic sometimes. Yeah, sure. And so, and then I think Gyarados in the back. Gyarados is great against uh, Kong. Uh, the water moves on everything is good. The power whip. So I, I like these. Yep. Go ahead. All right. The fairy and Charizard pretty standard here. <clears throat> Definitely a bit unfortunate just cause, um, Duraludon's thing's probably not going to get procked here. Yeah, no. And then Hitmontop's not a great switch in. It is not, no. So against this exact lead, I think Gyarados would have been, been stronger. It would have been stronger, yeah. We could have even went Duraludon Gyarados just to kind of play for it. Yeah, uh, probably. Okay. So the thing is, like, D-Max Duraludon, I think, take... I think it might die to, like, the helping hand... Um, max move or whatever you think so i it has been dying it hasn't been quite as bulky as i would have liked no so yeah, maybe. if it doesn't die i mean i mean it, like i don't know if it does like in one hit but it probably died to the wildfire stuff right yeah but i mean if he's Anyways. helping handing he's not um nuzzling so i think well, i'll go for a flash cannon and a nuzzle <sighs> Because, like, maybe Duraludon really? just dies to the G-Max Wildfire, but it gets Gyarados into a free switch and then a potential um, max air. I think a it's potential... really, yeah. 
It would be really good to get a Nuzlocke on Charizard. Yeah. I think it's worth it. This just think. plays around the Helping Hand G-Max. He, like, he's probably going to follow me. That's definitely the... Okay, there it is. Cool. This so if hand. this isn't Lumberry, this is fine. very beneficial. I just like a good hit off. Very yeah. good. Okay, that's some damage as well. Yeah, I am honestly totally fine with that play. That's a pretty reasonable turn. Yeah. So now we definitely bring in Gyarados here. So Gyarados is chilling. So we have the potential of getting the free like Max Geyser into Clefairy. I guess I'm just yeah. afraid of protect Clefairy and then Charizard gets another I attack guess. off. I think it's kind of... Like, do we play around that even? I think we just... Um... Well, I mean, we can I double mean, we, it into Charizard. We can, we, can, we, can kill the, we can kill the Charizard as well. Yeah, like, we can just double into Charizard, I think, is how we play around that. Yeah, I suppose, but I think it was like, well, Max Geyser just kills Charizard as well. Mm -hmm. we even through Frank Guard? We need to double it. Even through Frank Guard? Oh, no, through Frank Guard as well, I didn't think of that. Mm, yeah. Maybe not then. Like, maybe. I, if we double, it definitely kills. If not, maybe. Not. I'm just wondering of the worst case scenario. Like, he Max Guards and I think then... Max Guard Charizard and we... Going both into this pretty bad, I guess. Yeah, I think, I think going into Clefairy is better because I'm gonna get the um, speed boost or the rain. Either. Yeah, I just see him switching most likely, but I think it's less risky or more uh, less risky to go into Clefairy at least. I'm just really afraid of a protect. I, th I but... feel like it's, it's more likely it protects Charizard than Clefairy. Do you think? Yeah. No, there it is. That's a protect. It's like that. this is just how. Man, that's annoying. Crit. No! Oh, so <laughs> this is just the thing is, is like this is how Clefairy players play. They just want Clefairy to sit there and get oh, the um Do you think it switches out now? And get the friend guard. Maybe, but I'm gonna max Geyser into Charizard here. Yep. And then Volt Switch will kill Clefairy. Actually I should probably go for Nuzzle. Nah, I guess okay. it does he max guard. Didn't matter anyway. Yep. Oh my god. Okay, so we ah. fell into everything here. So, yeah. Rotom... Sorry about that. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's just kind of how Clefairy players like to roll. Yeah, I, I've never really played against the fairy, to be honest. Okay, so I think we need to nail a KO here for us to stay in the game. So, so like, just protect... Sorry. I mean, I, I see him going for, like, a double protector or something. Or did he max guard last turn? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah. No, I okay. think he <laughs> switches into Clefairy, or he switches into the Pokemon we don't know about, which is... Probably Rotom. Rotom. Mm-hmm. This is so hard. Uh, I think you're just going to Charizard. I think you're just safer, I guess. I don't know. Left's yeah. coming back in. Okay, we're That's gonna get fine. the we're gonna get the kill on Charizard here. And I think I max air streamed, which is amazing. That's I hope you did. I, I hope I did. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, very good. Okay. So that's huge because now we're plus one speed. We're going to outspeed Excadrill and potentially Rotom Wash. That might be in the back. Yeah. Oh, okay. dude, that's wrong. That's not how it is on cart. You Gyarados well, returned to normal and then we took the max wildfire. Yeah, that's damage. true, actually. That's true. That's annoying. Okay, so fake yeah, out kills right. Kefairy and then plus one power whip. Prop I think that kills Rotom Wash. Yeah. Even through Friend Guard. Like, if he protects, I mean. With friend Guard, it, um, I mean, if you fake out Clefairy, it dies, and there's no Friend Guard then. Yeah, I'm just assuming he protects, though. Right. But I can't um, go for, like, helping him power up. I can't risk him. No, uh, no, no, I think you just go for, no, I think you just go for it. Yeah, I yeah, can't risk him clicking sure. power. Okay, here we go. No, no, no. Ally switch. Ally switch, wow. I mean, what, what does that Wait, get him? what? Ally switch, what? the opposing Clefairy switched place. Like, I power whipped the Rotom Wa- Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. I don't, I don't know. Oh, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I got confused for a second, but oh, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, that was really weird. <laughs> I think we just protect and we kill Clefairy with him on top. Sure. Uh, I guess the thing that sucks is he if he hits him on top because we get eject buttoned out. Mm. Oh, well, plus one hit on top outsped. So that's cool. All right, this looks fine. <laughs> yeah, this looks pretty good. Because we can, we can just Waterfall Excadrill and switch in Raichu. No, because if Excadrill's faster, I'm, he I'm, rock slides, and then we die. Yeah, I'm kind of more scared of... Uh, I think we have to preserve Hip on top here. I, I, I'm more scared of uh, Rotom than Excadrill, right? Aren't you? 
Yeah. So we can go for this. We can go for the power whip and Rotom, and then we can close combat extra yeah. drill. Uh, yeah, I like that. Because I think Gyarados is going to survive the rock side. Okay, Rotom's dead. Nice. And if we take this rock, rock side... does... High horsepower hard... kills us, but... Oh, it doesn't yeah. matter. We had fake out, faster fake out, nope. and waterfall. Yep. Good. All right, cool. That one was a bit scary. Uh, it was scary. You know, the Clefairy Charizard matchup is a bit scary. But I just think Gyarados can really... I if it... think, yeah, I think Gyarados is super good at it. It's just... If Gyarados yeah. gets that one Moxie boost, like that turn that we got this speed boost on the Charizard, that like won us the game. Oh, super for sure. mm -hmm. Cool. Not too bad. So I'll take a look at the notes here. Volt Switch versus Thunderbolt Volt Tackle. Uh, didn't, really... didn't come into play there. Dura, we didn't even bring. So um, not too bad. We haven't really been playing against any of the Volt. We haven't seen a Milo tick yet. No, that's true. That will really that's test the... our skills. So the case is this is a sun team, yeah. And a trick room as well. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, this so this I think is actually a really poor matchup for us in the for the reason of so Dur we want to lead Duraludon to stop Rhyperior from yeah, fucking us up, but we die to like a D Max against... Sun solar power. Mm -hmm. This is definitely a little bit of a hole, I would say. Yeah, I'm kinda of scared of like it's really hard to predict either <laughs> If he's going for Trick Room or if he's going for the Sun stuff. So it's like, what do we even do here? I think we have to go to Dura Raichu. I think he's more likely he's going for uh, Trick Room maybe? Because of like, our team isn't... Yeah, looking at our team, I, I think he should go Trick Room. Yeah. So I actually yeah. like Raichu Duraludon for that reason. If he does go Sun, we can Nuzzle Charizard. And then Duraludon will get an attack off. We can right. fake out Venusaur, that kind of stuff. Yep, sounds and good. And then I think we want Gyarados hit him on top. Gyarados hit him on top. Yep. Cool. For All sure. right, he's going for Trick Room. Okay. This was Rhyperion from. This turn is huge. So we could go for the safe play, which is switch in top for Raichu and Dragon Tail. And then he procs our weakness policy. Yep. Or we could just go for uh, <laughs> Brick Break, Flash Cannon, and Drive Barrier. But if he protect <laughs> Trick Rooms, we just lose. So yeah, I think you. I think the protect Trick Rooms. Man, I want to get flashy. I want to get flashy, but we'll we'll play it safe. We'll play it. Let's safe. go for the safe one, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. All right, here we go. So minus one right here. See if he protects. Oh, he's on Max. Max Quake. We live. Oh my. Wow, that did a lot of damage. It switches ass out. So oh no! Ooh, that was scary. Okay, what? wait, we can get into Gyarados here. How did we, uh... Oh, then, oh of course it's... Uh, oh, Dragontail makes you go last, so he did trick yeah. her. Okay, yeah. Oh, that was something. like the best Pokemon he could have brought in, to be honest. That was, yeah. Mm. Like, I mean, uh, for us. Yeah. Okay, so we can Dynamax our like zero HP Duraludon and Flash Cannon. Because uh, like, hmm. So Duraludon is like slower than Gyarados. So yeah, the thing is is Duraludon's probably slower than Togekiss. That's annoying. We could Dynamax Gyarados and go for Max Airstream Flash Cannon into Toga. Yeah, we how I just, much, uh... I don't know how we stop the second trick room in that oh, case. Oh, I don't know either. I think, I mean, I'm, I'm actually kind of like in the switch out rather than the oh. brow, though. Okay. Unfortunately, I ran out of time, so I needed to make a decision. No, okay, that's a moxie boost. So we just... Died oh, wait, he's about to take... Oh, no, we're about to activate his weakness policy, though. Oh, they <laughs> are... <coughs> All right, let, he should hit Gyarados here if he wants to win. Yeah, so Gyarados will die to that. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, we still do have this plus two Dura Ludon. Uh, I mean, we bring in Hitmontop for sure, I think. Mm hmm. How long? Yeah, has one turn left with Dynamax. Right? Yeah. Okay. Do we just let him set up Trick Room, to be honest? Why, how do we, we win if we let him set up Trick Room? We could helping hand no, Draco think... Meteor kill Duskobs. I guess. Because he might protect our just... Yeah, I'm just like. Like, yeah, I suppose he can. If he ally switches, it's going to kill Rhyperior. That's what I'm kind of... Yeah. Oh, because it's going to follow Dusclops. I always kind of forget how that works. I think we have to kill Dusclops here. Okay. 
Just yeah, it's them. just I don't know how we beat Togekiss, but let's... yeah, that's what I'm also. All right, let's see who right here hit. He hit him on top. Wow, we actually hit him on top. Ah, uh, dude, I think that might. <sighs> now it just depends if Duraludon is faster than Togekiss, but I don't think he is. We, we, we can always uh, just fake out the uh, Togekiss though. Oh yeah, yeah, and then we flash cannon right here. Mm -hmm. It's very safe. So what if he just protects? You know, like, uh, what? what's our next turn after? Oh, we're plus one speed with Duraludon. Are we? Dude, yeah, we're, bad. <laughs> we're bad. We're <laughs> bad. Okay, okay. So shouldn't we fake our Hyperior Flash Cannon I think we fake our Hyperior Flash Yeah. Because not every Tokus has a... Uh... Okay, Babiri Berry, let's see. He oh, just... I didn't even kill. Dude. Oh, we lost our special attack from... Um... Oh, because of the freaking yeah. Yeah. Damn. All right, he's gonna Let's miss see. like a hundred high horsepowers and rocks. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I think you just forfeited. Okay. No. So <laughs> that play, let's say we, um, even if we faked out Tokus Flash Cannon right here, I don't think it would kill in the sand and plus one special defense solid rock because no, we lowered no, our special no. attack. Oh, that's annoying. So I mean, what, it was definitely have done there. Well, it was definitely a read, but it was this turn. He didn't protect Rhyperior. Do you think like plus two helping hand uh, Flash Cannon would have killed the Squaps instead of Draco? <sighs> no, like Duraludon. Duskops is at like full HP, pretty much. Yeah, seventy nine yeah, to eighty one. But this play, right. this is the turn that lost us because he didn't protect Rhyperior. Like, if of course, if we just Flash Cannon Rhyperior, like we just won right there. Yeah, I mean, Rapier is just, just, just stupid after all, man. It's so yeah. hard to play around. <laughs> I hate Rapier. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. It's uh -oh. like, I feel like... I hate Rapier because it feels like we didn't get out of play and we just lost to Rapier. Yeah, we just lost like 50-50 due to protected rock. Yeah. I mean... All right, we finally got on my low tick we have to deal with. That's here. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the acrobatic stuff. Yeah, it looks like Okay, the... so, um... I'm just really... I just really hate Psychic Terrain from Indian and stuff. Psychic Follow Terrain me. is very strong against our team, unfortunately. Yeah. So, um, like what, do you, what do you think? What do you see him leading here? Um, well, the thing is, like, he doesn't know that Gyarados doesn't have Intimidate. So, like, when they see double Intimidate, they're just that much more inclined to lead my low tick. That's true. But, like, do, do, people usually know about uh, Gyarados, the right to Moxie stuff. I agree. They? But yeah, I'm, not I, everyone's I the smartest. <laughs> <laughs> I think Gyarados is a really uh, strong lead here because it I deals with Paluta. Yes. I'm fine with going Gyarados, either Raichu or think... something else, but I want uh, Hitmontop. No, do I want back. Hitmontop? Like, I want, the, I want Raichu Hitmontop to either be speed. in or have the option of switching in, like, turn one. Because of um, Rotom or? Yes, because of Rotom. Yeah. We could go Whim, Gyarados Whim. I think I like Raichu in the back batter, actually. I yeah. Mean, maybe go Gyarados Whim or Gyarados Bisharp or something. Maybe Gyarados Whim. I'm fine with Bisharp being in the back. It's just, um, like, whenever I bring two support mods like this, it's like I definitely usually want one of the R2 yeah. damage dealers. We need def we definitely need one of them. Yeah. This team is a bit support heavy, I must. Like. Yeah, that's definitely something I want to address in the future. I, mean, I don't Durham think there's anything wrong with having lot of support but i think we need like if we have more support we need yeah, even more damage dealing as well yeah and we need more different types of damage like bisharp and Duraludon just don't have much coverage yeah okay so i think i think bisharp looks the best here okay okay let's give it a try exca milo tick yep so there is the milo tick lead and we do have gyarados here we could just go for no i wish we had right here we can just yeah, no, go for um... tickle max overgrowth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I that. Don't is... I don't think that kills Dynamax uh, melodic though. Yeah, I don't think so either. I mean, it definitely kills normal melodic, but not that. Um... So Excadrill, the only reason it's scary in my opinion is the potential um, focus ash. So like, we could protect yeah, Moonblast Excadrill because we are a uh, Berry like, at the moment. I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually kind of thinking going into, like doubling into Extreme is just so annoying to protect. But, um, so do you Pico, like protect yeah. Moonblast? I like protect Moonblast. It's a bit risky if he does kill us, but okay. Okay, so, so that right? that's fine. So I guess it's coiling now. I no, see it's win. Wow, big crit, just our luck. We're one hundred twenty-two speed now. Uh, that's it's slower than Gyarados, that's... but 
That's... Well, we could get a kill on. T oh no, if it's can... unaware, if it's unaware, no, unaware ignores um, the enemies boost. Enemies boost, right? So we, I think we can get a kill on Glaferio. Yeah, let's try and get it. Like, but we can't really do that much against this this point. Yeah, like, well, let's go for the big item, tickle. Big tickle. <laughs> oh, tech. Oh. Epic tech. All right, that's plus one. So if he icy ones again, we'll be oh. back to neutral. But that's not the worst that's, thing ever. No, that's fine. We, we can always use like tailwind and stuff. Yep. Man, plus one attack Gyarados. That's a that's a free max overgrowth into that my little tick. True. Okay. So if he brings an X girl gen, I'm still a tiny bit scared of like a max rock fall into Gyarados. But did we bring him on top? No, we have Raichu and. Bichar. No, we did not. We have Brand Raichu. Okay. I guess we kind of. Hmm. I mean, uh, this was our first turn of Dynamax, so I mean, we can max guard Tailwind. It's really safe, and we kind of know what we're dealing with. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay, I I'm down to go for this. Yep. Switching in and DD. I guess he thought we were gonna tickle again or something. Is he... oh, God. It's Why like is he again? it's like annoying how much time he's wasting. Yeah, I know. Okay, so I mean, I think we should just max Airstream, Moonblast, uh, and DD. Or we could go into Milotic, and then if he doesn't protect, he's just going to die. I mean, if he doesn't mm -hmm. Dynamax. Yeah. Like, Dynamax Milotic is just way less scary now. Yeah, I mean, I think he's really... Can't really touch our Gyarados, which is really, Oof, really less scary. So, nah. Wow, okay. Okay, now he's just fucked. I don't know, this he guy... Was, uh, our Wimp Scott, I guess? I don't know. Know. This like, guy played kind of weird. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Yeah, uh, he's just switching. <laughs> yeah, that's <was> okay. <laughs> that's fine. So, I mean, now he's like putting all his eggs in the X control basket. So he can follow yeah, me right. now. But yeah. I don't know. That actually what doesn't look it? too good. Because, like, Bistar, man, if we had no. him on top, it would be so much easier. Even though it would be so much better there. I guess. So, looking at his mons, Hitmon Top would have. Hitmon Top's just not good against a lot of the stuff. So he just brought the right. He just brought the right things, I'd say. Yeah, probably. Um, like, what do you think about bouncing here? I was thinking about that bouncing into Indeedee. Yeah. But Gyarados would just die the next turn. So I, I don't know what Whimsicott's gonna do here. Cause like I can't, we can't tickle Excadrill. We can't tickle. We can't. I mean, I think Whimsicott just dies there. I don't know. We can protect, I guess. But what's the point? It's kind of just wasting Dynamax turns is the attempt. But... Yeah, I guess, but he's gonna, he's gonna die by sand if he even... <laughs> Probably. Let's just see what he does here. Yeah, yeah we're at 5.4, so we're just both gonna die. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean, Bistarp does have Sash, so I guess it's not like 100% over. No, it's not. It's the over, no. This is brutal, though. It's, it's, I guess it's... Uh... Brick break and throat shop. Let's... Yeah, I don't even see another option to be honest. I mean, isn't can we just somehow win this? Yeah, oh, he's life for him. He's, oh, slow... he's taking more damage. Oh, okay. So, here's the thing we... that sucks is just like he can kill Bisharp through protect, and we can't sucker punch because of the psychic train. Oh, that's actually true. Damn, that's annoying. Like, I think we have to protect Bisharp and hope he doesn't attack it. But why? Because then we can, can we sucker can punch him that? next turn when the psychic train ends. Oh, right. I guess, yeah, okay. I see. <sighs> but. Yeah, because he's going to outspeed Raichu. Like, I think we, just go for it. I think I think we have it. to hope that he, like, fucks up. As simple as that is. Yeah. So he did not. Crit. Raichu, get the big crit, baby. Come on, bro. Raichu. Oh. oh. <laughs> the crit might have killed. All right. Is, wait, is he Sandstream or a Mole Breaker? Please be mold breaker. Oh, right, let's let's go look. Sent I mean, we're, out, we're, gonna just, we're gonna just test it. It okay, says sent just, out Excadrill, so he's not. Is it, yeah, it's not true. No. All right. What, what you missed the Harris bird? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's annoying. So like, if we had him on top, I think we won that game. It was just like him on top yeah. is not good against my little at all. It's not good against Ndidi. It's not good against Clefable oh. or Halucha. So it's like, the thing is, I. We could have realized that while it is really bad against the other stuff, we need it to deal with Excadrill. Yeah. So it's, I, it's just so good against Excadrill. Yeah. So I think our mistake was, wow, it, it sounds as weird. 
It sounds weird, but I think we still needed Raichu for the potential Rotom Mo. I think like not not bringing Raichu is just too risky. Yeah, I mean Rotom Mo is the I think the best Rotom for Gyarados to go up against because we kill him with like a plus one max airstream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, just a bit risky. They can always die in max and stuff. All right, we played against this guy already, but it was like a super. This was the super close game. Oh yeah, right. Did, we did went, we lose this one or? No, we won. We went Dura loot on Raichu, cool. and then he. Right, went, yeah, okay, I remember now. He went for the helping hand. Yeah. Did we just do the same thing. I mean, Dura loot on Raichu just isn't good against the Charizard thing. So like, if we got if we got Gyarados right out the bat, it would be like better. Right. Um. Post. We could go Gyarados oh, don't, Whim. But don't you think you might like switch up his leads now? Well, I like, know. I think he won the lead matchup. And he did win the lead matchup. So, like, I think he's... I think he's... Yeah, yeah, okay. I think he's more inclined to go for it again. Sure. This is our best of three. This is the regional set. This is the best of three. <laughs> so, I actually like Gyarados Whim, because we can get the kill on the Clefa Clefairy turn one with, like, Tickle. We have the option to get up uh, Tailwind... Yep, okay. It, so I like that, and then probably Bisharp. Yeah. Yeah, Kinkelder, like, Gyarados is amazing versus Kinkelder, but, like, having the double steals. So, honestly, Duraludon and Bisharp do their thing, but I think one of them's probably going to have to go. Yeah, I really agree there. Okay. So there's Clefairy, show me Charizard, cool. All right, so we can literally just kill Clefairy right here, turn one. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what we should do. Um, I think that's the safe Well, play. so if we tickle, we tickle kill. The thing is, is if he airstreams, like, he's faster than our Gyarados. Oh, no, but then Raichu comes in, and we can... No, because he'll be faster than Raichu. Um, yeah. Hmm. So that's the worst case scenario. We could just... We could just airstream way. protect Whimsicott. Because he cannot kill Gyarados this turn. There's no way. No, he definitely can't. So okay, this is important. This is definitely uh this is definitely a time where Koba Berry would win us would the been, game. I think Koba Berry like is Max Airstream is more common than like Max Steel Spike. Yeah. In I general, don't you think? Okay, so okay, here so we let's go. See what it is, let's see. Is what it you the, um, follow me. Oof, that was good. Yeah. yeah. So he got the wildfire up immediately, but uh we are alive and that's oh, all. Oh, a lot of them. Dang, dude, he doesn't even have a play against this. Max, Geyser, Charizard, and Moonblast, Clefairy. Yeah, I just killed Clefairy. That's very nice. Okay. I, I don't think we should even think too hard about this one. That's the, yeah, no. Bada bing, and Charizard hit us with the bada <laughs> boom. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, the quick forfeit, the quick dip. Oh, oh. <laughs> let's go. That's the shame. That was the regional, dude. That was the best of three. That he oh, yeah. he didn't even shake oh. our hand. He didn't even shake our hand. Didn't even shake our hand. Right. Disrespect. <laughs> Sorry, chief. <laughs> okay. So okay, hold on. I th I honestly think we should try Coberry. I actually like it. Yeah, Coberry is nice. And then, guys, I honestly don't think this set is very optimized, you know? I'm sure we could drop speed for something, yeah, no. but uh, we'll, we'll assess that uh, a little yeah, bit Yeah, we later. can... Like, with Duraludon and uh, Bisharp, I'm not sure if, like you said, both necessarily fits on the team. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, to be honest, yeah, like, we can I'll, have a little discussion. Dur We've played a lot of games. We can have a little discussion here. Yeah, like, I mean, right off the bat, I think... This, like, my gut feeling is maybe switching into a faster... Uh, Maybe like a faster, uh, more coverage-based uh, mm -hmm. Duraludon, maybe, and then switch out Bisharp. Even though I kind of like Bisharp as well. It's... Dude, Bisharp is like he is really cool, and I think his typing. It's super cool. I think his typing works amazingly with Raichu Gyarados. It's just he's so squishy, and he relies on Sucker Punch because so he's so slow. Yeah, it's so like yeah, Bisharp is like yeah, was on this game. It was so bad. It's like train or Sucker like just lost the game. Mm -hmm. in the the game against. Uh, the extra jill and so that was something that i said i really really wanted with gyarados was a defiant mon but honestly mm -hmm. with adamant life orb like we yeah, get the kill know. on minus we get the kill at minus one on incineroar every single time mm -hmm. so like, like i don't think we have had an issue really with intimidate at all i don't think we have either and like i don't and i also just don't believe that's because we had bisharp sitting there like scaring them off you know what i mean no Okay. That's very true.
And then, okay, so I guess let's make a, let's grab the team and import it into another, because I named this one a version one. So we'll throw this into yep. for version two. So Gyarados, Raichu, V2. So, cool. I think that while Bisharp is cool, he is taking a very valuable item from our team as well. Yeah, definitely. Sash is so valuable for us. Mm -hmm. So, honestly, I think Bisharp is going to be the one to go. That potentially yeah. does open up Focus Sash onto Wim, but maybe we want Focus Sash on our... Oh, we so you were saying a fast Duraludon. Yeah, maybe. While I do like that, I just don't think that helps the Charizard matchup unless we were a Salt Fest Duraludon. It doesn't really know. But I, yeah, that's, that's, what I'm, that's what I was thinking. Maybe like a faster Assault Fest one. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm so, not sure, man. So then that brings up a different item on Raichu. Uh, maybe... Yes. I, I think we, we have, have a... a Raichu, I think um, we have a lot of good ideas, but I think we could actually... Um, Maybe at the beginning of our next episode, we can start going into a deeper, like, editing phase. Yeah, like, something I just really... Something I like AV over Sash is, like, I really like that, the fact that we can survive a G-Max Wildfire with the Raichu and take the Wildfire afterwards. Because, like, in a lot of those games, we, we took, like, 60, 70 from the Wildfire, uh, Wildfire, and then we took the... survived the... Yeah, the burn damage afterwards, mm -hmm. which we wouldn't have with, with the Sash, I think. Like, no way. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we'll just have to kind of... We'll, we're going to have yeah. to gauge if that's worth it, though. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, guys, I think that will wrap up Episode 5. We had a lot of good games in there, some weird games, some crits, all that jazz. But as you can <laughs> see, guys, me and Alka are slowly brainstorming about how we can make this team better. We already think that Bisharp, while he was good and he was fun... I just think him overlapping with Duraludon is just a bit too hard. So mm -hmm. we'll, we're going to continue to look into things. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I <laughs> would love it if you guys checked out the Twitch stream. I leave the I leave the uh, link and stuff in the description. I'd love it if you guys came and watched me over there. More great content. But guys, that's going to do it for episode five. Sure. And me and Alka will be back in episode six. So Alka, say goodbye to the peeps. Goodbye, peeps. <laughs> and we will see you guys next time. So bye, everybody.